Almost half of Americans in their 40s and 50s are caring for both their children and their aging parents. Most seniors want to stay in their own home as long as they can, of course, but their families aren't always comfortable with them living alone. Technology now can help seniors keep their independence and allow their children, their adult kids, to know that they're safe. Local 12 Sheila Gray shows you how it works in our Family 411 report. Shirley Hoover loves being with her friends and family, but she also likes her time alone. And I was lucky enough to find a place that I really, really like. I love the freedom. She's 87, but Shirley hopes to stay in her home as long as she can. The U.S. Administration on Aging says 35% of American women older than 75 live alone. It's a bit lower for men of that age, nearly 20%. With your parents, you get to that point, you start worrying about them. Mike doesn't have to worry as much now because of a new trend in senior home monitoring. Sensor technology tracks Shirley's activity. So you know she's up, you know she's getting around. It's great to keep people in their home. We don't want them isolated. Occupational therapist Beth McCarty helps families like Shirley's figure out what system's best for them. The sensor system can alert Shirley if she leaves the stove on. An appliance is still on. Please turn it off before leaving. And it can alert someone else if something happens to Shirley. This video game sensor is always watching her movements in the kitchen. And Beth shows what happens if Shirley takes a spill. Don't move within five seconds. I'm calling for help. The most important thing is that it is non-intrusive and they don't have to do anything. It just automatically uh, collects data. What you're looking at now is the system's dashboard and it details the activity level in the home. So if Shirley was much less active on a given day than usual, someone even in another state or another country could look at that and know there was a problem, maybe a hazard in her home or a health issue. It's a prevention tool, but it's also one more way for families who are far apart to stay connected. Beth's putting the system in at her dad's house, too. I see how important it is for them to stay independent and uh, not be bothered by their children. My father doesn't want me calling him all the time. It's taken away a big worry for Shirley and her son, too. I used to worry a lot about something happening to me, and they find me two or three days later. And that, that was a scary thing to me. I don't have to worry as much, I guess. Something, the system is monitoring her all the time. Mike says it's given the family peace of mind. And at this point in life, Shirley certainly earned it. Sheila Gray, Local 12 News. Interesting, isn't it? A nice way to stay connected. Several different companies sell home monitoring equipment and services. An occupational therapist can help you choose what's right for your family. We have a link to Beth McCarthy's practice at local12.com. Click on the red Get It button. That'll take you there. That's a great idea, really. Isn't it? Yeah. Neat stuff.